Today, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys the best cipher setups on all maps. The idea of this video is to have one specific video that people can come back and reference to quickly find the best setup on each map. I will most likely be doing videos like this for every single patch, so if you want to stay up to date and see what the best Cypher camera spots and setups are, then be sure to hit that subscribe button. So first up, we're going to be on Ascent, and I think B site is definitely the better site for Cypher to be playing for a couple of different reasons. He's really good at getting early information to see into B main and see if anyone is pushing it. And you can set up your tripwires in a way to get easy wall bangs through this boathouse right here. So first up for cameras, the main camera I always use until it starts getting shot out is the one right here between these two windows. And what you want to do is stand at the corner of the platform like this. Aim high enough only so the camera is still blue on the wall between these two windows and then jump and place the camera at the peak of your jump. This camera gives you a great early view into B main. So if people are hugging the back wall you can actually still see their feet and they can't see the camera at all. If that camera keeps getting shot out though what you can do is place it instead on top of the sign just like this. And this camera still gives you a little bit of a view into B main to see if they are about to push out. But really the benefit of this camera is that it basically covers the whole site. You'll be able to see anyone pushing onto the site and even going into this cubby right here. And this camera almost never gets shot out because they will have to be fully exiting B main to shoot out this camera. So moving on to cages and there's two one ways that you can throw here at B main. You can throw it on either side of this archway and to throw these what you want to do is walk up to the wall right here along this line in the wall and you'll know you're at the right line because it's basically in the middle of the doorway right here. So like this then once you're right here you can aim at this corner of the sign throw your cage and it will land perfectly on the right side of the arch. This is a pretty good one way if you have a teammate playing in the market doorway right here or if you are as you'll be able to see the feet of anyone leaving B main. Alternatively, you can throw a one way on the opposite side of the arch and to do that standing in the same spot you just want to aim right at this brown spot right here right above the arch just like this and throw. It will land perfectly on the left side of the arch. The one way on the left side of the arch allows you to play this spot here at the stairs and hold this angle to B main. Otherwise for cage setups I typically will like to throw one right around here. So as the enemies are pushing up to the site they have to push even further or fully jump out of the cage blind onto site. So for tripwire setups I'll basically always start with this tripwire here and this tripwire here. But if they have a Sova or a Raze who is constantly breaking these wires, what I will do is move this wire here to back here along the boat. This way if someone's pushing further out towards the defender's spawn, then they will hit this wire. Another really good alternative wire spot is right here along the boat. And it's really common for the attackers to push into the boat here and close the door. So they will hit this wire if they are going to do that. And the reason that I really like this wire here is because if you're playing on this box and someone hits this wire, it's a really easy wall bang. So the best setup for B site could look something like this. So moving on to split, and of course I think Cypher is best played here on B site. And the camera spot that I always use is right here on top of the roof of this building, just like this. Gives you a great view into B main as well as B heaven. This allows your teammate playing B heaven to back up if they need to while you can still watch it. And it also can give pretty early info of a push out of B main, as you can basically see until about where the alt orb is. So next up we have cages and the first cage is a one way for B main and to throw this all you want to do is walk into this corner and basically aim anywhere along this brown trim right here and throw your cage and it'll bounce off the roof and land on top of the doorway. 
So you can pop the cage and have a really easy one way to see the feet of anyone leaving B main. And for the other cage, what I like to do is throw it right around this part of sight. And basically what it does is it forces the attackers to push through this cage to get to the default plant spot. So the attackers won't have any information about where you're playing on site until they fully push through the cage. So now for tripwire spots, typically I will always start with this one along the trash can unless the enemy team has a raise. And if the enemy team has a raise, what you can do is place a wire right around here. And you can place one on site like this to block off the default plant spot. Or you can place a tripwire right here to be annoying to anyone who wants to cross towards back site. So the best setup for B site should look something like this. Next up we have Bind, and I think once again Cypher is best on B site here. And for camera spots, the main camera that I always default to is right above the roof of the defender spawn right here. And then you can jump place the camera even higher. And this gives you a great view into Hookah and Long. So you have a pretty early view of anyone pushing up Long. And what I like to do if this camera continues to get shot out is to just change up the position a little bit so it doesn't get pre-fired even if you're not in the camera. So I'll put it somewhere like this, which gives the same information, it's just a little lower. Or place it somewhere like here, which is once again, still gives you the same information down at long and into hookah. So for cage spots, I keep it really simple here. I will typically throw one right here at the hookah window and one right here at the exit of garden. So for tripwire spots, there's actually a couple good ones that I like to change up to just make it less predictable and make sure they don't get shot out as much. But typically, I will always start with this one here at hookah. You just aim along the sand next to the box. So if someone jumps out of hookah window, they will start dangling in the air and it's really annoying to try and shoot out. Over here, the tripwire I default to is this one right here. And when someone hits it, you just pop the cage and spray through the cage. But if these tripwires aren't working, alternatively, I will use something like this, really simple. You can place one here to stop people from easily pushing onto the right side of sight. You can place one here as well. This tripwire is great for catching people who are walking up to the most common plant spot, which is right here. So the best setup for B-Site bind here should look something like this. So finally, the last setup here is going to be for Haven. And starting with the cam spots, the first one is the one that I will always default to. And to place it, all you want to do is jump into this window here. Then you can place your camera along this black pillar right here. And you get a pretty great view of sight and long A. I've personally found that this camera almost never gets shot out. So this is the one that I like to use the most. Alternatively, if I'm trying to get early information or that camera does get shot out, I will change it up and at the start of the round, I will walk down the ramp and place the camera along this pot here. And it, as you can see, you can see the cross of anyone going from a lobby to a short and you'll be able to see people if they start pushing up long. So as far as cages go, I will typically just throw them at the entrances of the site right here and right here. Sometimes instead of right here at short, I'll just throw one between these two boxes right here. This covers the entire A short. So now for trip wires, typically I will always start with these two here. One right at this box and one right at the top of short. If this one at short continues to get broken, I'll change it up and place one right here connecting these two boxes. And if this one here for long continues to get broken, I will typically place one here 
And I like this tripwire because it'll catch anyone who is running up to plant next to the site like this. So personally, I think the best setup for a site and Haven in general should look like this. So those are what I think the best cipher setups on each map are. If you guys want to see more Valorant videos and guides like this, then I would greatly appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button.